guys welcome back to my channel so today I have a little bit different kind of ipsy reveal for you I'm actually doing an ipsy versus birch box so if you don't know what birch box is or what ipsy is they are $10 a month subscription services where you get five beauty related um, products always get ipsy but this month I decided to try out Birchbox. They had a code for February. You could get two boxes instead of one. That being said, I've only gotten one box. I don't know if they're just gonna send me another one for March or what they're doing. I'm gonna show you what I got in my Ipsy bag and then we'll do Birchbox. So this month's Ipsy looks like a really cute makeup bag. Um, to me, this is exactly what I would use for makeup um, in my purse. It's just, this looks like a makeup bag to me. Some of their other stuff looks like a clutch, so I'll put like my, my stuff in it instead of using a wallet. But I really feel like this is the perfect like travel size makeup bag, and it's really, really cute with little kisses all over it, and it has a cute zipper. All right, so the products that I got in my Ipsy this month, <sighs> I'm going to be honest with y'all. I've been testing these out, and not all of them are my favorite so I'm gonna give you like a little mini review of each of them first thing I want to show y'all is my big notes like things that did not work out for me um, this hey honey uh, CC cream it's trick and treat CC active moisturizing cream with honey and I don't even know what else that word is um, it's okay I'm just allergic and it's too dark for me um, but this is my first foundation I think from Epsi so I was really excited to try it but it just it did not work out for me the next thing is this pixie glow tonic you're supposed to use this after you've toned your face um, I use witch hazel to tone my face and I put this on after and my skin started burning and little pimples started showing up like really badly um, so I think I'm allergic to this. the rest of the stuff I pretty much like so um, there's this it's called feel is the brand and it's renewed pumpkin walnut facial cleanser um, I really like this it's, it's kind of like exfoliation um, and you massage it into your face three to five minutes. I do three because I don't want my hands on my face for five minutes straight um, with being so acne prone. But this is pretty good. I really do like this. It's a pretty big size bottle too for being a sample. It'll last me a little while. The next thing, I love these brushes. These Farah or Farah, however you say it, brushes. I've gotten a couple with Ipsy and they are just so soft. This puts powder on my face really really well I really like this brush so I'm very happy to get this and this is definitely you see guys this is full size and it's awesome and the last product I received in Etsy this month is by one of my favorite companies this is the bomb cosmetics um, the only thing that I can say bad about this is I really don't care for single eyeshadows um, but this eyeshadow is really really pretty it's a um, shimmery purplish gray color it's really pretty but overall I would give Ipsy three out of five and let's go into Birchbox so Birchbox comes in a box obviously now I have to give them like credit this box is freaking adorable there's a little card it doesn't really say anything about the products on that side all right on this side it does and it tells you how much the full-size products are Good morning, Alaric. Good morning, Phoenix. So the first thing I'm seeing is this number four hair care, perf high performance hair care. It's supposed to be a smoothing balm. So there's that. Um, this I've actually tried out already. I don't know how, Jawara. I'm not sure how to say that, but it's a body cream. It smells really, really good. I just hate that it's such a tiny sample size. I'll use that up in one day if I use it consistently. Um, some hydrating collagen eye pads from 
Wilma Schumann European Skincare. Um, a Ico eyeliner. And a super small, because if I open this, it's even smaller. Um, give me a brow sample. Which, this is one of my favorite brow products. But, I've received a sample of Gimme Brow before through Ipsy. And my sample size was way bigger than this. It was like twice this size. That is itty bitty. So, right off the bat, I can tell you I'm just not satisfied with Birch Buzz. I guess I'm spoiled because Ipsy does send you full size products. And it's not always, but they do. And it's the same price. It really didn't cater to me. Um, I don't know. Obviously, for me, the winner is Ipsy all around. I'm going to continue to get Ipsy probably forever. But I'm not so sure about Birch Box if I'm going to try again. Maybe in a couple months I'll try again later. But if y'all like this kind of stuff where I kind of compare different, you know, subscription services. If you like me reviewing subscription services, just let me know in the comments below. Alright, I'm going to go play with these babies and I hope y'all have a fantastic day. And subscribe if you haven't already.